liners aren't brilliant, but you are entitled to them because some people are allergic to the rubber. And if you're sharing the gloves, it's a little bit of hygiene for yourselves and other people. You would have checked your rubber gloves for splits, tears, holes, which you've all done in your test anyway, and you would give them a roll up test. Gloves come in twos, so you have to do both. And the first thing you do is put your rubber gloves on. Well, much easier than those other ones, isn't it? The other ones were a bit of a hassle. Yes. You had to check your pole out, making sure it's dry, solid. Of course, we would jump to the RR's recommendation and make sure it's in that and everything as well. And remember, about three inches is okay. If the insulation is damaged there and it's caused by the hammering, I wouldn't be overly concerned as long as it doesn't go any more than that away from the tip. When it comes to the hook switch, we would make sure it's got a number on it. For exercise, this one is one, two, three, four. So I'll ask you to operate the switch one, two, three, four. This one is in the closed position and it's a right hand feed, so it's a right hand hook switch. As the PICOP, the PICOP requests that I go to hook switch one, two, three, four and place it into the open position and I make sure a safe system is set up. If I'm not a cost myself, I make sure the other person has set up a safe system. Yeah. Be careful because when you're in the six foot, it's very narrow and you can have a live conductor out. Once I've set up my safe system and I come out to operate my hook switch, first one I'm going to operate is the pivot clamp. Then the jaw. Once I'm happy they are open, I'm going to put my hook switch pole in, bringing it down to the horizontal and shouting, eyes, two, three. Swiftly opening it, bringing the pivot clamp around and being careful not to bridge between the two. And just locking it off lightly. Then of course I would report to the person in charge of the bike off from a place of safety informing him that hook switch one, two, three, four is in the open position. Of course, if I was placing it at the open position at the end of the shift, I would be putting a sleeve on and leaving the sleeve in place. Yeah. Right, at the end, PyCop's going to phone me up and request that I put the switch one, two, three, four back into the closed position. So again, I'd speak to the person in charge, if I'm not a cost myself, getting them to set up a safe system of work for me to be able to put that back into the closed position. I'm at the location, I'm in a safe system. First thing I'd do is check that the jaw clamp is still open. Then I would open the pivot clamp. Putting my hook switch in the blade and bringing it round to approximately three inches off. Shouting, eyes, two, three. Shouting as quickly as possible. Do give them a couple of taps at the end because that makes sure that they're secured and they won't weld shut from the vibration of trains. Not too heavy, just a slight tap. Of course, I'd report to the person in charge of possession, PICOP or authorised person, that hook switch 1234 is now in the closed position. I'm in a position of safety or I'm off the track. Yeah. And thank you very much. <laughs>